I'm a scientist and as I've said before, science evolves. So I want to take a step back to this whole thing called menstrual cycle phase-based training or cycle syncing. I think I probably should take ownership for pushing out some information that was based on science that was available five or six years ago. When we were looking at the molecular level of what was happening across menstrual cycle phases, where we see in the low hormone or the follicular phase where our bodies are more stress resilient, we're able to use carbohydrate more efficiently. We see that there's an impetus for more muscle protein synthesis. That stuff holds true. But then we start to get into post ovulation or in the luteal phase, the high hormone phase. And we start to see an increase in our protein needs. We start to see changes in our metabolism where we rely more on free fatty acids. We have a change in our immune system where we have more of a pro-inflammatory response. That also holds true. But what has changed is the fact that we know that very few women have ovulatory cycles. Now, ovulation is the critical component to actually having different menstrual cycle phases. As we start looking into more of the ongoing and newer research, we see that the menstrual cycle is so variable, not only within each individual from cycle to cycle, but definitely in the general pop. So when we talk about cycle syncing, or we talk about menstrual cycle phase-based training, we do have to take a pause because we don't know for sure if you have ovulated. You will still have a bleed phase if you do ovulate. It's called an anovulatory bleed. So we need to take a step back and look and identify your own individual unique characteristics of your menstrual cycle. What do I mean by that? First, we wanna pay attention to the bleed pattern itself. You'll have a typical bleed pattern. It might be heavier at the start and then start to fade off. It might come back. You'll see a color or a texture that's normal for you. An anovulatory cycle is really light and the color is different than what you're usually used to. We also see that there are nuances in how you feel. So the best way to really look at how am I gonna train with my menstrual cycle is by identifying your own unique patterns. The bleed pattern, if you've ovulated and if your cycle length has changed, knowing that they can change from cycle to cycle, because if we start to see changes in the menstrual cycle, then we know that there's a misstep in our stress resilience. So yes, it's really important to pay attention to our own individual qualities of our menstrual cycle, knowing how that affects us, but taking the whole, I'm going to train this way as a low hormone phase and this way for a high hormone phase is taking the absolutes of molecular science and trying to apply it to the whole person. So when we look at the new science that has evolved and the new recommendations that are coming out, we can't have a blanket statement to say, in the low hormone phase, you need to train X, Y, Z. In the high hormone phase, we need to train this way. Because a lot of people were misinterpreting that as having two weeks of no training in the high hormone phase and going really hard in the low hormone phase. But we know that there are some women who will have more anovulatory cycles, so that doesn't make sense for them. We also see some women who feel bulletproof a few days before their period starts, so it doesn't make sense for them to downturn and deload their training. Once you understand your own natural cycle, and your own natural responses to your hormone fluctuations, you can dial in your own training. So this is me as a scientist saying science evolves. And the more information we have, the more I can disseminate and get it out to you as a listener, as you as the consumer of information, as you as the general population looking for scientific information to apply to yourself. As I stand here and say, my thought process has changed as science has evolved, I want you to understand that you can take this information and you can dial in your own training based on your own individual responses and get better outcomes for longevity, for health, for training and performance.